and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a crash course on vectors. Today we're going to be talking about the dot product, cross product, and magnitude of vectors. So a vector is basically a line, but it has more qualities to it. So a vector is basically a line segment between two points, but it has direction and magnitude. For example, this vector is moving this way at a certain magnitude that's arbitrary right now. Vector B is denoted like this with a little half arrow on top. And it is written like a point, but with arrow brackets instead of parentheses. You may also see a vector written in a different form. It could be written as A, I plus B, J plus C, K. These two forms mean the same thing, they're just written in two different ways. Now, if we wanted to find the magnitude of some vector, you write it like this. You may come across where the magnitude is written with single lines on either side, but it's usually written with two as to differentiate it from the absolute value symbol. So, if we wanted to find the magnitude, we take the square root of each quantity squared. So here, the magnitude of our vector v is the square root of a squared plus b squared plus c squared. If our vector here was say 2 comma 1, and we assign it the vector u, then the magnitude of u is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of 5. So when we take the dot product between two vectors, we get a scalar multiple, which is just a fancy way of saying we get a number rather than a vector. So to find the dot product of two vectors, let's say a, b, c, dot, d, e, f. We multiply the corresponding first, second, and third values together, and then add them together. So this is equal to AB plus BE plus CF. Because each of these are just numbers that we're adding together, we're going to get a number at the end, a scalar multiple. So say we wanted to find the dot product between these two vectors, the vector 1, 2, 3, and the vector 1, 2, 1. So it would be 1 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus 3 times 1. And then we just multiply that together, which is equal to 8. And that is the dot product between these two vectors. So when we take the cross product with two vectors, we get a vector. To find the cross product between two vectors is kind of complicated, so bear with me here for a second. All right, let's say we wanted to find the cross product between these two vectors. We would need to take the determinant of a matrix. To set up our matrix, we want to put i, j, k on the top row, our first vector on the second row, and our second vector on the third row. So we have i, j, k, then a, b, c, and then d, e, f on the bottom. We're going to take the determinant of this matrix to find the cross product of these two vectors. So let's say we wanted to find the cross product between the vector 1, 2, 3, and the vector 4, 5, 6. We would set up our matrix like this. And then let's go ahead and find the determinant of this. And after doing the work of finding the determinant of this matrix, we get that our vector is negative 3i plus 6j minus 3k, or negative 3, 6, negative 3. And we're done. All right, and now we know how to find the magnitude, the cross product, and the dot product. We can put some of them 
some of the pieces together and we can find the angle between two vectors using a formula. Now that formula is cosine of theta is equal to a vector u dot a ve the other vector v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. And then therefore, if we know our two vectors, u and v, we can find the dot product between the two and each of their magnitudes, and then we can solve for theta, which is then our angle between the two vectors. Thank you so much for watching. This has actually been part of my final project for my math degree. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.